simply shine, simply my shine. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl michelle as you guys can tell by the title of the video i'm going to be testing out and trying on some lashes super excited i'm so ready for this can you tell for the last few days i just feel like i've been a saddie i haven't really been putting effort in to just like getting myself ready and getting myself dressed and i know i'm not the only one that feels like a baddie when I get my lashes done. Something about lashes that make you feel most confident. Not only do you feel confident, but you don't have to worry about applying mascara every day. You don't have to worry about putting makeup on your eyes. You literally wake up looking like that, that girl. For me, I just love the confidence in the most minimalistic way. Thank you so much to Kavali Lash for sponsoring today's video. Not only did they get your girl right with one or two, but your girl got a little PR box. So I'm so excited to share and try these out and let you guys know what works for me. And maybe you'll see something that you like. Not only that, but they have 3D mink, 3D silk, and they have colored lashes to get you all the way right. I love the versatility. There's a pair for everybody on there. And prices are affordable. They start anywhere from $4.50 up to $20. What? If your pockets is tight, they have them for a dollar. It's just a dollar. You guys are excited to see how they look on me make sure you keep watching give this video a thumbs up if you love lashes if you never tried lashes but you here just watch the video because by the time i'm done with this video you don't want to get you a pair of lashes one thing's for sure two things for certain i'm gonna keep it real with you guys so if there's something that i don't like you gonna know without further ado let's jump right into it i'm a sucker when it comes for like presentation i love this packaging it's super cute it's pink of course, it says the name Kabali Lash, but look at how they got your girl right. Love, love, love the presentation. Very girly. They also sent your girl a nice little note. We also have some eyelash adhesive in the color dark and in the color clear, as well as an applicator. Usually when I do my lashes, which is not too often, I'm not really a pro at it. I noticed that application is easier when I use my tweezers. So we want to see how this applicator works. My glasses on now of all days, my eyes want to give me trouble. The day I want to do a lash review, and that ain't nobody but the devil himself. So we gonna shake him off. I don't really know which ones I want to try on first. Since your girl nine, but I'm probably gonna just do a few. Which one should I try, y'all? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm a little nervous because I don't know how these are gonna look on my eyes. I feel like when you wear lashes, they're supposed to fit your eyes, the shape of your eyes, depending on how your eyes are set up. I have almond-shaped eyes, kind of slanted, right? Some of these look a little big. They look a little dramatic for my eyes, but. We're not gonna judge a book by its cover. We're just gonna see. So I'm gonna go with these. First of all, I love the packaging. Let's talk about the packaging really quick. Love that the brand, they're promoting everywhere, okay? I love the presentation. The box is so pretty. All their social medias are on the back, which I love, love, love. Okay, so you guys can see, this is the back. I'm gonna try these lashes first. These are called Sanrio. I'm gonna try the clear adhesive for one eye and then the dark adhesive for the other so we can compare and see which one we like better. Usually I'm more of a clear person because I don't really want anybody to know. I want my eyes to look as natural as possible. So if you have any type of caked up glue or buildup, it's gonna give, yeah, I know what it's gonna give. I'm gonna look as classy and natural as possible, okay? They look super natural. They feel so soft. Sometimes you just gotta pick up some lashes real quick because you got a quick event to go to. And you can see that the band looks very poor made or the lashes look like they're just gonna crumble like as soon as you pull them or tug them. This is not giving that. They feel like your, your natural lashes, literally. I'm over here talking to y'all like I'm ready to apply and I don't even have a mirror. You know what confuses me about lashes too? Which side you put it on? I'm still new to the lash game. Hair, got it in the bag. The lashes and the makeup, we still need work. Practice makes perfect, so it's going on my left eye. Shorter side obviously goes in the corner. I'm doing this review for y'all. If you're new to this like me, don't feel bad. We are gonna get it right. This is the clear. It's very thick, very thick in consistency, like a cream. Some of these glues smell stink. As long as it's gonna give me hold, I'll deal with the funk. I'm gonna make sure to get it in the corners because for me, those are my problematic areas. Sometimes the ends come up faster than like the middle of my eye. So we gonna make sure that we glue that right. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a few. All right now, don't you blow. Hold on, maybe I'm not clamping it right. I'm gonna just let it dry and get tacky. Let's see about these Sanrios. Why do I feel like I wanna say Sanrio? I have to do it off camera because 
I just couldn't see. So I will say with the first side, I had to cut the end because it was just a little bit too long for my actual eye. So now I'm gonna try the dark adhesive with the right side. This is the dark adhesive. It smells a little bit like Elmer's glue. This is very clumpy. It almost gives like dried up mascara. Like you know when your mascara is kind of done and you need a new one. It's very clumpy, it's not smooth. Definitely not coming out with like a smooth consistency. I don't know if that will be an issue or not, but we're gonna make it do what it do. Okay, so these are the Sanrias. <laughs> Like these i think these are really pretty they're not doing too much i do feel like i would want them a little shorter I prefer fullness over volume I always want that natural look i don't want it to look like i have something on that's not me but it does look really pretty very full the problem that i ran into is that like i said they're actually too long for my eye so what i had to do was just cut the ends off and just make it fit to my eye i kind of feel like i messed up this one a little bit because i cut it off but it was all the way over here and I was just like, no, no, what are we doing? These are really pretty. I really like these. Perfect for like date night. Still gonna make you look really pretty. Let me know if it's giving bad y'all. This is Sanrio. Let's see what we're gonna try next. I'm not gonna lie, some of these look a little too dramatic for me, per se, to each his own. I know some people like big lashes and some people just like that natural look. I'm some people. I just feel like it's gonna draw too much attention to me. These are the next ones I'm gonna try. These are called Phoenix. I love the way these look, but they are a little bit too dramatic for me. As far as like length is concerned, it's not my preference. They're very like full, but again, they really make your eyes pop. So if that's something that you like and you go for, then you should definitely try out these Phoenix. I like them, but I just feel like they're just, I don't know, I'm just like, the camera does no justice. Like they look super full. It just feels like I'm double blinking. Have you ever seen somebody that has like dramatic lashes on and you know that they're too much because they're double blinking, like they're constantly going like this. It's just not knocking nobody. I just know what I like and I just don't like anything that's gonna be too, too dramatic. Like I'm just a calm, chill person. So I just feel like that all of that extraness is just not me. It's just not my cup of tea, but these are really pretty. If I was to be going out to like a club or I don't know, something, something that just required a lot of extraness. I love when my eyes pop. I love the wispy look. They look very full and fluffy and I really like that, but they're just a little too long for my taste. Still very lightweight and comfortable, even though they do look like they're super heavy because of the length and you know how wispy they are. But believe it or not, I feel like I have nothing on. It's like feathers. It looks really great with my hair pulled back because my eyes are really standing out. They remind me of the first ones that I just tried on, but these are just a little more drastic, um, a little more longer in length, but I'm here for the fullness. Like, girl loves them for lashes, but they're really pretty overall. I think they're Next, I'm gonna try on C4. Okay, so these are the C4s and these are my favorite. I'm loving the C4s. C4, give me more. Now, these are super duper full, but I just love the way that, I don't know, I guess it's the, how do I put it? I like the way they're separated. They're not too clumped together. It makes your eyes look really pretty. This is just, I really like these. I really, really, really like these. These actually went on really easy. For some reason or another, I struggled to put the other two pair on. Like these just laid on my eyes. Like it was just a one, two, three placement. They look really natural. I feel like they fit my face. It's not too much, but it's still very classy. Take me out to dinner. Although they are long, and even though I keep saying the word long in length, it's only because I don't wear lashes every day when you go from wearing no lashes to putting on lashes can be a bit extreme because it's something you're not used to seeing yourself wear every day though they're full they're not heavy at all like, that's one of my biggest issues i can't do heavy lashes and i can't do heavy earrings because it's just gonna weigh you down you, you don't want droopy eyes like, who really wants to walk around with droopy eyelids just to be cute no at the end of the day i need comfort with everything that i wear so these are definitely giving comfortability they're giving classy they're giving everything Kush. 
These are the Kush lashes. When I think about Kush, I think about, we're not gonna go there. I think these are really nice, but they are a little bit on the very long side. Like they're, they're super, super long. Even after I cut them, they're still like a little on the long side. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not, but they are super pretty. Even though they are a bit extra, they look pretty. I don't know, it's giving like the cat eye effect. It's giving Marilyn Monroe. This is definitely the look that I'm going for, but without the length. I would definitely enjoy these more if they were a little on the shorter side, but I love the boldness. I love how my eyes pop. It's definitely giving boss, it's giving confidence, and these are definitely it. These are called Flora. Lastly, these are Flora. I think I like these the best. I know I keep saying that. They all have great qualities about them, you know? This is definitely more of me because it's natural, you know? It's not too much, but you can also see that my eyes also do pop. They're nice and wispy. They're full. They are a little long, but I like the fact that they're short, long, short, long. It still looks very natural. It doesn't look too clumped together, and it looks more realistic to me. Fits my face. I can literally put these on every day. It's given. I just got my lashes done. If you're looking for natural, not too much, not too extreme, definitely go with the Flora. It's giving more of a classic look. The other ones are more like the super volume. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you my honest review of the lashes. I loved every single one of them. Some more than others, only because I don't like the length. Overall, the quality was really good quality, not cheaply made. The feel of the eyelashes feels super natural, super authentic, literally like strands of hair. As for the glue, Dark definitely gave me trouble. It wasn't as moist as the clear. It was almost like it was caked up or dried up. The brush alone was like kind of bent, but it just wasn't coming out. I couldn't even use it. I tried it the first time, but it wasn't really holding. Definitely like the way the clear adhesive worked. It is very like tacky and pasty, almost like a wax, which is something new for me because usually my lash glues are more on the liquid, like watery side. I prefer the tacky feel because as soon as I put it on along my eyelid, it stuck have a lot of hold so I really like that I will be honest when it comes to the applicator I do prefer my tweezer over an applicator only because I feel like this is just a little too big for me for me when I'm applying any type of makeup or anything like that I want to feel comfortable I felt like I was struggling and I didn't have too much of a hold on it maybe it's the ends that kind of threw me off probably with constant usage of this I'll get the hang of it but I'm just used to my tweezers overall I'm in love with Cavalli lashes. They are so pretty, so comfortable, lightweight, very affordable, and perfect for all occasions. Like no matter what event you have going on or you just want something for everyday wear, they have so many different varieties that you can check out. And also the prices, you just can't beat it. I'm somebody who prefers quantity over quality and that's exactly what they give. If you wanna look like a baddie, you wanna boost your confidence a little bit, you have a date, or you just wanna start experimenting with lashes and you don't wanna spend a lot of money going to get them done, this is the place to go. They have affordable prices. You start off with the dollar pair and then you can eventually work your way up to the more expensive ones, but just test them out, try them out until you you know, figure out which what kind of style you like. Pretty sure you'll be able to find something that properly suits you. My favorite lashes were definitely the Phoenix and the Flora. Definitely love them. The rest of them are really, really pretty, but again, they were a little too extreme for me. But if that's what you like, I got you sis i'll definitely link every single lash that i tried on down in the description below if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you made it this far through the video don't forget to subscribe also another huge shout out to cavalli lashes for sponsoring today's video thank you so much with that being said i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video Simply show, simply show.